Do you ever watch a movie and you go, man, this movie thinks it's more clever than it is? That's Escape Room. What's up, guys? Welcome to Movie Employees, new review of Escape Room, the newest film in the Saw slash Cube slash Help Me Figure Out These Puzzles type of franchise. There's nobody really famous in this movie. Tyler the Bean from Tuck, uh, Dale and Tucker's in this movie. Deborah Ann Wool is in this movie. You might remember her from Daredevil. Basically, the premise of Escape Room is it's an escape room. These six individuals get sent this box. It looks like something out of you know, uh, Hellraiser and they open it up and they get sent to this building. And if you've ever seen the Belko experiment, you kind of know where this is going. Well, they get into the rooms that you've seen in the trailers. Cause you, everything is pretty much spoiled in the movie is that's in the trailer and they have to get out without dying. And that's pretty much the premise of the movie. You know, they solve puzzles to get to eat the next room to solve puzzles and this movie borrows heavily from Cube. It borrows heavily from Saw. And it's just a standard horror flick that's not really great. But it's not a terrible movie. I kind of enjoyed myself with it. You know, you have these people who have things in their past that are revealed, kind of like in the Saw franchise. But they're in this, like, weird scenario, kind of like Cube, like I said, where they're trying to get to each room. And the rooms are cleverly designed. You know, you have one that gets really hot, one gets really cold, one that's upside down, which I actually thought was really cool. And then the, the, when their past gets revealed, there's another room for that. But this movie, like I said, is nothing special. There's nothing really exciting by it. Everybody is doing their part. And Tyler the Bean, he's there as he kind of, the guy is giving the movie a little bit of cred, but is just there for, you know, a good laugh or two. But the big reveal at the end doesn't really do anything for me. It's kind of stupid. You know, the way this movie ends, ends in spoiler, spoiler, ends in a franchise moment. And it's like, why would you do that for a movie that's probably not going to make a lot of money? I don't know if a lot of people are going to go see this movie, but, you know, it's not anything special. Um, the death scenes are kind of cheesy. It's a PG-13 movie, so there's not a whole lot of blood. Um, it's just... It is what it is. I didn't really hate it. I was not expecting to really love it, but it's a January movie. It's what you expect from January movies. It's not going to be a great movie. It's going to get like a 50 to 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. And, you know, most people that went to see the movie enjoyed it. They laughed. They had fun with the cheesy dialogue and the death scenes. And like I said, I if you ever, a movie I'd recommend more is like I said, Cube. If you haven't seen Cube, definitely check that out because it's an interesting take on people who wake up and they don't know what's going on and they are stuck in this room and they go to each room and each room has traps and so on and so forth. But, you know, the puzzles are really cool. The ideas of what they're doing. I know escape rooms are really a thing right now and it's kind of cool them to take the scenario. But this movie is kind of like Hellfest where... It has terrible acting, but you somehow enjoy it for what it is. So, but that's it. I mean, there's not really much more to say on Escape Room. Like I said, if you can get past the stupidity of the characters and the stupidity of what's really going on and how the story's going to play out and how stupid some of the decision making is, you can have some fun with this movie. So, but there you go. That's my review of Escape Room. Not much to say on it, really. It's just another horror film. So, but as always, if you like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out the YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter, email at lapolda113 at gmail.com. You know, comment below if you do see this movie. I'm kind of interested to see what you think about this movie. If not, tell me what you think is the best part about Saul or Cube or any of these types of movies. What do you go when you go into seeing these types of movies? What type of things do you like about them? But otherwise, there you go, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes made of ticky tacky little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes all the same. There's a pink one and a green one and a blue one and a yellow one.